quick demo of Micropolis that's running in the web browser with WebAssembly. Now, um, this is based on the original SimCity source code by Will Wright. And I can generate cities by hitting the tab key here, or load cities by typing different letters. And I can zoom and pan, and there's keyboard controls. Uh, and also, there is a speed toggle. So let's load this. And we'll go slow. This is one per second. And you can zoom in. And then more faster, 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 all the way one through nine is the maximum fast speed. And usually at speed nine, sometimes bad things happen, like your nuclear power plants uh, blow up. Or, uh, oh no, I don't know, just terrible things are happening right now. Um, looks like a monster went across. So then you can slow down to normal speed. And the one thing you don't want to do is hit the space bar, because that toggles your space inventory. And uh, this is a little hard to explain, but you can stop it. And there you are. And uh, oh, let's make time speed up really fast. So, see, ah, oh no. Oh, oh, that's terrible. The only thing we can do from here is toggle the space inventory again. And whoa, that's going way too fast. So we'll slow it down. Oh, if uh, you're a cellular automata affection auto, you might recognize these. This is Brian's brain. Brian Silverman. Uh, invented this, although he didn't actually come up with the name. They just, somebody else named it after his brain. Very nice of them. And, uh, oh, stop. And then, uh, let's see. Let's try it again. Space inventory. Whoa. Oh, my God. Let's see. You can load cities into your space inventory, and they melt instantly. But we could turn it off again. Stop. Ah. So this is a very nice place that we could uh, possibly, it looks like it's burning up. Here, I'll make it burn up really fast. But anyway, there's no user interface yet, but the space inventory certainly works. There's a lot of weird things you can do. And, oh, see, oh, it leaves these little animated things going. Whoop. Oh, 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 the uh, traffic. See how the traffic dissolved? Ah, let me explain. Here's the um, repo here. So it's got, like, C++ code here, and it uses mscripten to compile it. And then there's a SvelteKit app, and that just loads that in and does all its little SvelteKit things. So, oh, and this book, Kyle Gingold, just came out with Building SimCity. It tells all about how this works. It has reverse diagrams, and here they are that show how the simulator works. What I was going to mention was that the way the traffic updated. See, the simulator is actually running on those jibber-jabber tiles, and it has this kind of clock that goes around, and then it does taxes now, decay traffic and rate of growth maps, does a power scan, does a pollution land value, police coverage, population density, fire coverage and distance, the valves, and then it scans the different parts of the map one strip at a time. Remember, this was written for Commodore 64. It couldn't really do a lot every tick. So we divide all the ticks up into this clock. And uh, let's see. Then, now here's kind of a data flow diagram of how the different layers interact with each other. Uh, you know, the police stations make this police radius that affect crime, the population density and commercial rate affect each other, the terrain, land value and pollution have, oh, the monster here gets attracted to the maximum peak of pollution, so look out. Um, power scan. So this kind of shows a data flow sense. And then this shows the layers of the map. There's some bits. There's the zone bit that says if it's the middle of the zone. Anim bit controls whether the animation happens. Bull bit lets you bulldoze. Burn bit is burning, of course. Conduct, does it conduct electricity? Is there power in it? And then you've got like land value, pollution, terrain, power, crime, police radius, police stations, fire radius, fire stations, traffic density, population density, rate of growth, commercial rate, and then some temporary ones. Um, and then um, basically this kind of dissects it and shows you all the tiles that are used. There's some animated tiles used for fires and floods, um, a seaport, a big airport, all these 
roads kind of crisscross and have different amounts of traffic they can have on them. And the rail has a train. There's a couple, there's a church and a hospital. There's power lines, residential, commercial, and industrial zones, a stadium that's got its own animation. And sometimes there's people parked there, police and fire department. Uh, there's a nuclear and a coal plant. And the coal plant generates lots of pollution, but the nuclear ex explodes and radiates everything all the time. So, um, and then there's a, this the whole traffic algorithm, like a residential, commercial, or industrial zone will look around it looking for a road or, or maybe even a rail and then generate traffic on it. And then sort of at a slower speed, these cars take a little trip around and like it wants to go from residential to commercial and it just drives around wanting to find a commercial and if it finds a commercial in time then it's happy and the residential zone gets happy and then would grow and if basically if these zones send out traffic and the traffic finds things that they need then the zone will grow and then uh, there's kind of some create traffic functions and that affects the traffic density that affects pollution uh, and lots of traffic will attract the copter and then you've got all these other little animated things, the blinking lightning if there's no energy. The drawbridge is quite a kludge. It like opens up so the ship can go by. Um, there's a little rotating radar, a park fountain, and a telecommunications thing I put in for the OLPC. But basically all these work together, and here it is running. And that kind of explains what's going on here, because these are the tiles that it's running the cellular automata in. And then when we stop the cellular automata... Let's do one. Okay. It resumes the SimCity simulation, which is a little confused, but I put in, like, uh, error checks so it didn't core dump. So it can basically deal with whatever you give it. And, like, see, oh, did you see the traffic go away? It went, doo -doo -doo -doo. That's the simulation clocking around doing slices at a time. It goes, like, there's no place to go. So, uh, you know, so this is not a very healthy city. Um, but then... Uh, if you end up, oh, there, see the traffic? Yeah. So, so then let's see. Let's see if we can get something that has an animation. I love these, uh, the patterns you get. Um, oh, this is actually a combination of three cellular automatas. This big blob is a automata called a neo, which makes big blobs, basically. And if the big blob is one, then that is water. And that, if it's, and if it's zero, then it's land. And, on land, you get life. Everybody's known life. I think life is overrated, but uh, don't talk to me about life. Anyway, those are lifes running in the tiles, but these are Brian's brains. Brian Silverman's really kind of active uh, fish schooly automata that I thought would be good for this. But then if you uh, pause, you can zoom in and look at them. No editing yet. That's coming soon. Oh, look, it looks like a big fish with a face and eyes and a nose. Lucky us. We'll make it go again. Whoop. Now that's a completely different automata, but maybe it'll stop. Ah, so like we get the little, we get the, um, this terrible fire is now running. Oh, see, we get, we get, there's the radioactive symbol and the smokestacks, and they're just doing their thing. That's probably making pollution. Um, but the fire's going to spread. Here, we'll go to nine speed to spread it like that, and then back to four or something. But, uh, yeah, if, even if you leave a little fire, it's gonna it's gonna ruin everything. There's not much you can do about it at this point. There's you know unless you're like really lucky and the fire station just materializes randomly. So, but then you can type cities. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. There might have been a repeat. It wraps around and then an infinite number of generated cities. And what I like is doing the cellular automata and then. Switching between cities, boop. So while you're doing it there, boop, boop. So you can kind of see, it's like, the, what's what's the land and sea of the city? And then generating, boop, boop, boop. But we could do a different thing, like, boop, boop, like that. Because each time you reopen the space inventory, you get a completely different set of parameters that might suck or might be kind of cool. So, well, this one here, see? Yeah, oh, wait, oh, this will be good, because then it's got all the little smokestacks in the middle. And then you've got a whole field of smokestacks here. Oh, there, oh, I love these. These are from the factory. Oh, okay, we, jackpot. 
We've got the factory's little pump thingies. Here, I'll slow it down. Whoa, there we go. So the factory's pumping up the little red dots and the green dots. And then the radar is doing that. And then the um, you got a nice field of fountains here. So uh, there we go. Anyway, that's how the space inventory works. Um, you should be careful of that. It can completely ruin your city. There's no going back.